Jojo has fun. I'm paying a lot into my retirement so this kid doesn't have to take care of me. <laughs> so he can be whatever unsuccessful porn actor he wants. Good for him. Oh, sure. Telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through a horrible experience. It's not like he has to go get a scale from Valu. You're in this letter too, you know. Poking your nose in other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Well, there's a lot about noses in this. So, uh, are you a little self-conscious about your nose? A little bit. Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Valu right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scale from him when he's so upset? What are you trying to say? That you can calm Valu down? Maybe. I, I haven't said a word. I've said nothing except, ah! Psh, that's just a big fat lie. It's easy to say you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. Yeah! I'll tell you what, if you could find me someone who can get past all the obstacles on Dragon Roost to get to Valu, then I'll listen to anything you say. Wow. Okay. Uh, okay, well. Just show me your scrope. I can, I can, fucking, I can get, Kim, I've killed so many dragons in my time as just a human being on this earth. The number of dragons that have fallen before me, it's, 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 it's staggering. I'm staggered by it. Okay, well, I just bit my cheek and I might die. You bit your cheek? Yeah. Oh. Like that canker story I had when I was a child, which is apparently a story I've told before. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember because you were like a super stressed out kid. Yeah, weird, right? It's a stress related thing, and I had it. Yeah, I um, it which was I think is it... so. Like, yeah, I was a pretty stressed out kid too, and I would get little canker sores, nothing really bad. Yeah, I had a canker sore that my dentist was like, "Whoa." Yeah. This is the biggest canker sore I've ever seen. And I'm sure you he said that to all the canker sores. Yeah, yeah, but like with you, he meant it. Uh, yeah, dude, yeah. totally, yeah. He I put mean, you on Valtrex. I was a sexy <laughs> kid. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it was like it hurt, and then I, I just kept fucking with it, and that made it worse. Yeah. And I didn't know what it was, so it also made it scary. Right. You know? So, yeah, it was a real... It's a bad. That's a bad cycle. It's a real pickle for something that's uh, stress related. It was. A, it was a real, real dill pickle. <laughs> My, uh, which would be a horrible thing to eat with a canker sore. Oh yeah, I couldn't. Although eat anything I zesty was or spicy or tasty, it sucked. Um, it ruined my fucking life. Thank you. When I like was first pregnant, uh huh, uh, I got a lot of canker sores. Like that's like a thing. Really? You get like tons of canker sores. Yeah. S is it because of stress and hormones? They, and yeah, I, I think it's it's hormone. It's definitely hormone related. It's just your body going. Like, God, oh, this is gonna no. suck. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to drink or smoke. Let's get canker sores. <laughs> Let's <Thanks>. prove it. <laughs> thanks a lot. Um, thanks, and so, face. Thanks. Thanks, inside of mouth. Um, and Where so... Where do I go? But I actually found that like oh. eating lots of pickles felt better. Oh, like, yeah. I liked, I liked that like really briny pickles burning. Pickles are delicious. Yeah. I'm about to start making pickles. Mm, that would be great, but don't make bread and butter, butter pickles. No, no, no. We're just going to have a very simple pickling solution, and we're going to make all kinds of stuff. Pickled daikon. Pickled, uh, pickled carrots. You are so Chinese. What? <laughs> Daikon's delicious. I don't know what the, your fucking problem is. I've it's never had it. Well, you're gonna. Okay. When I make pickles out of it. Okay. Oh, there she is. Cool. Get her. No. And grab her. Don't. No. Her she's duck my, face. She's my friend. Hey, you actually came. <laughs> Story of my life. Uh. I was really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't need help desperately. You see, this place, there used to be a spring here surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was peaceful and lovely. But in the Great Valu, he became so angry. His rage, he shook the mountain, and his boulder crashed down, plugging the spring. You can see the result. Oh, but where is my mind? Tell me, how was Prince Kamali? Yeah, he was all kind of a bitch. Oh, that doesn't sound right. Not at all. Huh. I may be partially to blame for how bitch-made Prince Kamali's been. See, Prince Kamali's grandmother was the Great Valu's former attendant. She was an amazing woman, and I was honored to have her as my teacher. She was kind and brave and unsurpassed in her dealings with the Great Valu. I'm not yet worthy of being mentioned in the same breath as her. If only I'd possessed some of her strength, I'm sure Prince Kamali would have felt more secure. Beverly, I'm sorry to ask this, but I need your help. Yeah, no shit. Everybody needs your help. I want to go to the small shrine that's near the peak of Dragon Roost, but that ledge over there is so high. I'm sure if I could get some wind under my wings, I could get up there. So, will you help me? Will you be the wind beneath my wings? Is what mm, she's asking. I can be the wind over your wings in order to create a low pressure. So okay, I'll pick you up. <laughs> the atmospheric currents are messed up. Oh, okay. So, um, uh, pick her up, throw her. No, no, no. I gotta wait for the for the for fiery fire to go just right. Not that way. She'll fly to the right. Okay, okay, okay. No whammies. No whammy. No whammy. No, no, whammy, no, no, no whammy. that's whammy. Oh. That's a whammy. 
That's a whammy right there. God, I love that game. That's not a whammy. Oh, you were you weren't close enough. I'm fine. That didn't hurt. Oh, maybe I'm. Maybe I. Maybe I gotta. No. They're gonna be up here. Cause she she just flew into the fucking wall like an idiot. Yeah, even that though was I that. threw her. Yeah, <laughs> I liked it. Okay, this is it. This is the one. This okay. is the one. I can and feel go. It. Yeah. Okay, you can do it. You can do it. Yay! Good graphics, man. Oh, thank you. Now I'll be able to climb the dragon roost and meet with the great Valu. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Juan Pablo. I may be just an apprentice attendant, but I can understand some of the great Valu's language. He's pretty much going. Fuck you, birds. Fuck you, scale-stealing birds. birds. This is all I have to give you. I know it's not much, but please take it. She just cuts off all her hair at once. <laughs> An empty bottle. That's fun. Could you imagine if you just gave people shit like that? They're like, I don't have anything. You know what? I did have somebody give me that once. An empty bottle? No, better. I was. Uh, there was this woman... She needed help in her yard, and she was this, like little old lady. I was walking down the street, like I was going for a walk. She was like, "Excuse me, miss," and she's she's like, "I I have this lawn, and I it needs to be raked, and I'm very tired. Like, could you help me?" Yeah. And I was like, "Yeah, of course." And so I raked the lawn. She's like, "Thank you, thank you. Please wait here." And she ran into her house. She came out with a sample sized. Fiber One bar. Ooh, yummy. That had expired a very long time ago. Oh, wow. And I was just like, wow. And you picked it up and you were like, Di -di -di -di. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> I was just like, wow, it's everything I hoped it'd be. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for this. You never, I would love to just, what if the store was like that? Di -di 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 -di. It's like, <laughs> Bag of chicken wings. Yeah. That's how I feel about uh, when I find dates. <laughs> like, Bag of dry dates. <laughs> He's holding it up your hand. And yeah. it's like, how is it sitting there spinning? Yeah. Because it's dope. Does you know how hard it is to find fucking dried dates? Like, nobody's eating them. Hard as dicks. Yeah. Damn oh. it. Damn oh, it! That was close. Nah. Yeah. yeah. Why does that turn me on? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. Whoops. Oh well, that was uh, almost what you needed. That was a to big do. oops. If I do say big, so yeah, myself, I really and I did. Oops! It there. Really ooped it. Ooped it. Ooped. Oh! Oh, oh man! It, it hit you, the rim. You do not have a future in the WNBA. I tell you that right now. Well, you know, are the Monarchs still in Sacramento? No, they're not. They oh. haven't been in Sacramento in like ten years. Oh no! It was in Deadpool. That's how I th thought it was real. <gasps> you bitch! Come on, come on! You could do this, Link. Or uh, I know Beverly. I know almost nothing about. Uh, that is actually the only thing that I know about. Uh, uh, the NBA or the WNBA is that the Monarchs are no longer in Sacramento. Really? Yeah, that's all I like. You could ask me literally any other question, and I know I do not know, but I I know that one thing, and I'm very I'm very proud of the fact that I knew something. Do you see the derp faces on these statues? Uh, okay. yeah. That's adorable. Okay, I'm sure that the wherever they are, they're doing well. Playing basketball. I remember when the WNBA first started when we were in the 90s. Uh, I remember there was a story of a, uh, and it was like a clip. They played at the end of the sports section on the local news. And they, it was pretty much like a, a how about that. And it was a woman in the WNBA had managed to do a slam dunk. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And they were like, I remember Holy watching that and shit. I'm like, I don't know why this is offensive. But it feels like it might be. So, um, it's actually only been eight years yeah. since they uh, were in Sacramento. Oh. They folded. They're not a team anymore. They didn't even move. Really? They just left. Wow. Also, they had four team colors. That's probably one of the reasons. Well, you know. <laughs> Purple, red, white, and silver. <laughs> Women, right? Can't decide what to wear. <laughs> God, that was offensive of me. I'm glad I said it. Um, they were. You're right. They were home and away colors, but they also had. But all of the the uh, things had the, all the colors. So so they they they're just. Is the the WNBA still exists though? Right. That's still a thing. Isn't I'm gonna it? Google it. I literally. I'm telling you. I know nothing about and the NBA. But aren't you someone who knows of sports? 
Uh, I don't count um, basketball. You don't recognize women's sports? No, I don't recognize all of basketball. What about women's baseball? Uh, I would if it was a thing. Where's that part of your crusade, Kim? Oh, I just, it's a silent crusade that I like ignore the fact that, because there's nothing in baseball that says a woman can't play baseball. You know, okay, fine. You're so, right. I saw that episode of Futurama. I stand corrected. Um, you know, God, there's nothing. There are twelve. There's teams. no rule in baseball that could keep a woman out of the majors. Oh, except for the rule of man. Yeah, except for yeah, she'd have to be like so. Like when Mike and I didn't know what the gender of our baby was, we would just tell people it was a baseball player, because no matter what, this kid is playing fucking baseball. Ah, don't give a shit. And I know that people are like, but what if it doesn't want to play baseball? And we will fucking Stockholm Syndrome that baby into playing baseball. Like, we, it's going to be convinced that it likes baseball. What if, what if your baby doesn't like baseball? Oh, we'll abuse him. It's fine. Yeah. We'll abuse our child into liking something that he doesn't like. Yeah. For our own vanity. That's totally fine with me. And we are parents. To do. That's what we do. That's what parents do. If your parents, parents got do. forced you to do anything... It wasn't to encourage your potential. It's because they were vain. They liked that, and they wanted... They wanted to be in they charge. Wanted because, well, because so much of parenting is, like, shitty and doing things that you don't want to do. Yeah. That, like, it'd be nice occasionally if you could actually enjoy something. And so, like, if you enjoy watching baseball, like, your kid's going to be really shitty at it. Why would you enjoy wa if you enjoy watching baseball, wouldn't you love to see some miniature versions of humans do a terrible job at it? Okay, shut up. That is exactly why people <laughs> like a lot of things. <laughs> like, what if it was smaller and adorable Yeah. but not good? Like, clumsy. You know, that's how I feel You're about... You're describing a corgi, and everybody likes corgis. All right, you know what? You got me there. You got me there. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. More, more on this tomorrow. Yep. Are you liking this Zelda playthrough? I We're having a ball. I love it. <laughs> do, 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 do. I found dates.